you got a freaking beast. Of yes. Okay. I'm probably not gonna eat. That's I'll... a lot of bacon. No, I'm gonna eat What's the What's under eggs. there? More. Oh, more pancakes, casual, oh, yeah. and What's all that? syrup. There's four syrups, and then what is this? I don't know. It looks like fruit, maybe. Probably not gonna have that. Ew. I'm like, yeah. Weird. No. What is going on, everybody? It is about 8:45 a.m. right now, and I am headed down to the expo, the LA Fit Expo. I'm really excited to be here. It's one of my favorite expos of the year, and. I have Austin coming with me to help film everything because I love meeting you guys and expos are my favorite because I get to engage with you guys in person, but um, it makes it makes for really hard to vlog. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next clip and hopefully he comes up with something really cool. So we'll see. Today's the day. How you feeling? Feeling like a winner. Mr. Bodybuilding.com. He's like, yeah, I don't know. Everyone's a winner today. No, I'm extremely excited. Can't wait to get the day started. It's my first expo I've ever been to, so Woo. it's gonna be Fuck. an interesting experience. Drop this. <laughs> Sorry. Keep talking. That's my clumsy fault. <laughs> so I think that's all I just. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Really looking forward to today, guys. Bye, guys. Catch you there. Hi, Yami. You look very tan. I know. <laughs> I don't get, like, makeup on oh, that's okay. Oh, you look beautiful. Good. Thank you. Headed down there now. We're helping out backstage here at the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search. And Karen and I are just kind of like helping things stay organized back here. Oh, you make me want to talk back. The spokesmodel search changed my life last year and it was awesome watching all my friends and especially Brian go through it this year from the other side of the stage. every single year and the top 10 finalists compete at the Fit Expo and get to join the team. Steve Cook and Jesse Hilgenberg hosted the show, Karen and I helped backstage and it was like so much fun. second at the show which is a huge deal actually and he was so happy and I was just like, like the most proud girlfriend ever. this weekend was absolutely amazing. I got to hear so many of your stories and it just reminded me of how I wouldn't even be here if you guys uh, weren't supporting me through this whole time. PE Science is my sponsor and I just want to thank them all for being so awesome. Everybody on the team, Val, Ari, L, Maisie, and Marie, and Team PES for being the best team ever. Hashtag select the best. <laughs> Which 
between last year and this year, what's been the biggest difference for you? Uh, the biggest difference for me is just how many more people know me here. It's just uh, it's been a, a, a cool process to see like my YouTube channel grow, my Instagram grow, and more people just connecting with me, and I think it's awesome. It's very weird just thinking of myself as someone people watch every single day, and yeah, it's 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 something to get used to for sure. Are, are people coming up to you just like really inspired and connecting to what, what you're doing? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's crazy to hear people's stories about how long they've watched and some people say they've been watching for however many years and they've watched all my videos and stuff like that and I just think that's a really cool and powerful thing social media can have. It's awesome. What do you think the key is to kind of hook some people? Like somebody who's new to the fitness industry, somebody who wants to get followers and so on. What do you think is the key to get some engagement going? I think the key to get some engagement going is to talk about things that are relatable. So if you think you're scared to post something because you might feel like you're the only person going through it. There's so many people going through it and so many people that can connect to you if you can just talk about your experiences and what you did to get through it. What would the Amanda Bucci of today teach or tell the Amanda Bucci at 12 years old? I would tell the 12 year old Amanda Bucci to not, I guess 12 year old is maybe you don't really understand this kind of concept, but um, not be a people pleaser and don't do things for people just because you think that that's what they want you to do. Do things because you want to do them. Amanda Bucci, she's jacked, she's tan, she's ready to kick some ass. And from the expo, we went to our first Cardona's workshop of 2017. So this is actually in the same exact spot that we had our first workshop in 2016. And it was so cool because we got to see like where the company was from last year to this year. Last year it was just an idea, and this year we have so much going on with the workshops, with the Pardomas 2017 calendar, and especially with the recruit program, which is basically just a group of interns for the company, and some of them actually got to come with this weekend, so it was really fun. For those who don't know, the workshops are all about brand building and becoming your own idol. So basically we provide a photo shoot, we teach posing techniques in front of the camera, we teach confidence building and brand building strategies. And they went from last year to being mostly competitor based because that's what we thought that people were interested in. But really most people who come are interested in developing themselves personally and professionally. People who have made fitness a passion and who want to make it their life.